It's a rough time for Daddy. Daddy's hitting a rough part of the river, I'll tell you that. Daddy's got a little lump in his urinary tracts. That's why he's home on a Wednesday. If I was to drive a car to work, God forbid, then I would be adding all of this extra nerve, nervular, neurotension down on my penis. Ow, damn it, shit. That's for why I kept you kids home from school on a school day. I have no answer. My penis is in pain. So I walk in to the doctor's office and they tell me that they're like, you know, as soon as I walk in, this is the administrative level specialty doctor. And I say, doctor, I'm all out of ideas. I can't think. The pain is hurting me. I toss and turn all night and the lump, I can feel it blocking me up. It's hurting, it's stinging. And the doctor just lays his hands on my hands because I got my hands on his table because I'm mad at him and also my penis. And I say, doctor, I'm all out of ideas. What, I, what am I going to do? And the doctor goes, doctor says, doctor looks at me and he's like, mm, we're gonna cut you open and we're gonna put all these tubes. The tubes are hooked into some sort of like cathode ray, like synthesizer, and we're just gonna just BAM! He says, you look like you're in a lot of pain. And I said, doc, you got, you hit that. You are a doctor. You don't just go straight into the hospital and get your urinary tract worked on. Doctors, you know, they've got a series of levels to get to the doctor, you gotta go to see clinical, you gotta see a clinic doctor, and then you go to see a doctor who practices, and then you go see the hospital doctor, the surgery doctor. And the surgery doctor, he is the one that takes pictures of you, writes stuff on your stomach. This is where the pro this is where the problem is and then they take a picture of that and then they put it on the wall and they take that picture to a meeting and in the meeting all of the other surgery doctors they're all sitting around the table at the hospital they call it the doctor jury and there's the headmaster and the headmaster's telling everybody I think we should you know make an incision here try to like coax it out with one of the um, uh, spool like like a spool like, but a telescope, they see the lump, like, like, oh, oh. You know, doctors don't just believe everything that they hear, so they gotta see it to understand it. You know, this is where it gets interesting. What's so great about being a doctor is that you get kind of like into it. You start thinking a little more like abstractly about things. Who am I? Who gave you the keys to my house? You know, the human body is, you know, a thing, but what if, what if, you had two other levels of it. The brain, how it interacts with the world, there's always two doctors. There's the doctor, and then the doctor who's in charge of the surgery, and they're just going, putting the problem on, on a mathematical level into a computer, and then the computer, like, turns it around a little bit, you know, like spinning it, you know, spinning the numbers around, like you put clothes in a washing machine and get spun around, and then all of a sudden it's like, ding, your clothes are done. Well, this time it's like, ding, you got surgery. And, I mean, they're geniuses. You don't visualize what's going to happen unless you're a doctor. And then you can visualize three or four steps down the road, or in my case, up the road, from the doctor's clinic.